I'm Sean Smith. And I'm Sarah Kelly. And, and this, this is Salty Jobs. Jobs. Hey everyone, I'm Sean Smith. And I'm Sarah Kelly. And we're here today at Blue Water Crew Training, an international maritime training company focused on the super yacht industry. Where they train anyone from entry level to senior positions, including captain, chief engineer, and chief stewardess. We're gonna take a few classes to prepare ourselves for working on board these big yachts. Well, Sean, I'm never late for class, so we better get going. Kinda figured you were a teacher's pet. I'm here with Teresa, the lead instructor of the hospitality division here at Blue Water Crew Training. And Teresa, what do you guys look for in a candidate for interior crew on these super yachts? Sure. Someone with a great interest and desire to work in the hospitality and service industry. Somebody with a good attitude and personality. So soft skills. Absolutely. We're the front of the house. We're responsible for everything that the owners and guests experience on board. And what kind of training do these candidates go through? In our entry level course, we teach everything that you might do on a super yacht, from laundry, housekeeping, bed making, and even the service side of it with bartending and table setting. So I do some of those things at my house. I make my bed every morning. Is it harder on a super yacht? It's not hard, but it has to be perfect. Well, let's see if I have what it takes. Okay, let's go. My job was to match the sample table setting. While I thought my previous restaurant experiences would come in handy, this process is an exact science, down to every detail. They even use a ruler to make sure all the pieces were properly aligned. I finally got one table setting correct, and then was reminded that on a yacht, I would have about 10 more places to go. While Sean finished setting the rest of the table, I learned how to make a bed with the proper hospital corners. I've heard you can tell you did it right if you can bounce a quarter on it. So of course, I had to try it out. Once we both completed our interior crew courses, it was time to learn about safety and why all crew needed to be trained in it before working on vessels. I'm here with Will Williamson, lead instructor of safety and security. Will, I'm always so interested to know, how did you get into this industry? So I started my career in the U.S. Coast Guard. I did 21 years and decided to give back to the community by becoming an instructor and teaching about what I learned in the Coast Guard. Why is it so important for the interior crew to understand safety? When you're out there on a big boat and you call for help, they could be hours, sometimes days away. So we teach our teams to combat an emergency with their team so that way they can get on top of it before help even gets out there. What trainings are we going to be doing? We're going to focus on safety and survival today. We're going to go down to the pier and get on one of our boats where we're going to, I'm going to teach you how to unmoor a vessel and moor a vessel up and toss out an anchor in case your engine breaks down. And then we're going to transition over to the pool where I'm going to teach you how to get into the water or a lifeboat or a life raft in the event that a big boat has an emergency that you can't take care of and you need to get off the boat and wait for rescue to arrive. All right, well, I'm really excited to learn and let's head down to the pier. Awesome, let's go. We made our way to the boat to be taught about how to operate a tender. This began with learning to drive the boat and dock it safely. And then I practiced dropping the anchor and securing it with the rope. After completing this training, it was time to head back to Blue Water's facility for our last safety course. We learned to put the safety suits on sitting down, because when you're on a boat in an emergency, this is the safest way to get it on. We dove right into the section of the training, pun intended as we both had to jump from the high platform. Many times the life raft will land on the water upside down, so I learned how to flip it upright without getting trapped underneath. 
Our last mission was to get into the raft from treading water. Helping each other get in required a great amount of teamwork and patience. Our day was jam-packed learning everything we did, but it showed just how much training goes into becoming a crew member. Including captains, oh my god, I can't start my stuff again! Including captain, so What trainings are we gonna be doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Really funny. Right?